In today's video, I want to invite you on a journey, a journey to see how much I suck at Illustrator. This is a struggle tutorial to figuring out Adobe Illustrator. If I can do this, I know you guys can too. So stay tuned, I'm gonna teach you all the tips and tricks that help me be successful in creating this vector portrait based on a photograph. I haven't used Illustrator in five years, no, six years. The whole reason I'm trying this endeavor today is because I just found out teachers get 60% off the Creative Cloud. What? I'm gonna go ahead and place my photo and I'm gonna show you my screen as I'm working as well, just so you guys can get a sense of what the heck I'm actually doing. Once I have my photo placed, I like to put it into my bottom layer and lock it just so I don't accidentally move it. Layers are located on the right hand panel and in order to start illustrating, you have to click create a new layer down at the bottom. Then I'm using my pen tool to actually go in and try and mask off an area of my hair. This was definitely a struggle at first because it's been so long since I've used it, but basically you just drop points at anywhere that there is a curve or a change in direction. Later, you'll see that I go through and change these a lot. I think if you don't have curly hair or something quite as detailed, it's a lot easier. One thing I really disliked that I didn't realize is that I was using lines. So I went ahead and removed the line width and then I played around with color. I love using the eyedropper tool to select colors from your reference photo. Once I was happy with the color, I zoomed in a little bit and used my um, arrow tool to start manipulating the dots. You can grab the handles on either side of your anchor points to adjust the curvature. Again, this was really complicated because of the hair texture I have, but you can just see how precise and fine you can get with using an anchor and pen tool method. Once I was happy with the shape of my hair, I decided to move on to the face. So again, taking my pen tool, I zoomed in and started to trace the outline of my photograph underneath. It's important to close off your shapes by connecting your last anchor point to your first one. This will create a closed shape. I created this whole image using my trackpad on my laptop. I don't have a fancy tablet. One of the most helpful tools when working with a trackpad was using my keyboard commands. So command C copies, command V paste, Command Z undoes an action if you want to undo something, and Command minus and Command plus help you navigate by zooming in or zooming out. I played around with layers and adjusted my hair by creating copies of that same shape, and then actually using the eraser tool with that layer isolated so that I wasn't erasing anything below it, and creating slivers of these individual curls using different colors. Then when I was finished with my hair, I decided to move on to my facial features. So here I actually just used a pen tool to get the shape of my lips, and I used a brush tool to create eyelashes and eyebrows. And then I created shapes for my dress, just again using the pen tool and kind of changing the colors using the eyedropper. To create the pattern in my dress, I actually found an image online and used image trace to convert it to a vector image. This tutorial is only using Illustrator, but I'm really curious as to what other illustration and digital art drawing programs you guys use. So let me know in the comments what programs you really like. I had to take a quick snack break because you know, blueberries. I added some gradients to my dress just to give it a little bit more dimension. And then I started to work on elements of the background. This photo was actually taken in a greenhouse, so there was like a railing I was leaning on and a lot of greenery in the background. To create the illusion of a greenhouse, I just used my pen tool to trace over some leaves and also the pathway I was on. Created a rectangle and filled the entire artboard to create the background and that's it. This probably took me about two hours, but I think if you're just beginning, it's so easy to do. It's a really fun program, and I encourage you guys to get out there and try it if you have access to it. Um, here's the final result. It was really, really fun. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, or maybe it inspired you to go out and try Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want some more art tips and inspiration.